Shalom, family trendsetter. All praises be to the Most High. I'm actually at work, so you will hear some noise in the background, as well as I do have a tendency to struggle for words when I speak because of my West Indian dialect. Now, I'm going to try to take my time with this video because I want to um, just first apologize. I want to apologize to those of you who actually hold, hold the Bible dear to your heart. I know for the last couple of months I've been coming down hard on the Bible, telling y'all that the Bible is not our book. It's their book without information in it. And I'm sure some of y'all was offended by that because, you know, a lot of y'all, including myself, we, we quote scriptures from the Bible, the Helio Biblio Sun book. And for me, it was the Bible that actually brought me closer to the most high. So when I tell y'all that the Bible is not our book, I'm not telling y'all not to read the Bible. I'm just telling y'all be careful because a lot of the information in the Bible has been um, translated, retranslated and shit. So in other words, you're not getting the authenticity of our information. And when I say the Bible's in our book, I'm going to give you an example of what I mean by that. So let's say someone decides to write a nonfiction crime novel, right? Which means it's, it's the, the information or the story is true. So this person decides to write about, let's say, a massacre in an area that occurred. So in order for, the, for them to write this book, they have to do research on the massacre. They got to gather information. So they will go to that location and they probably might go into that neighborhood where the massacre occurred and, you know, inquire, ask questions. Some, some, some cases you may have to pay people to give out information. You know, many cases people want to be a part of your novel, so they might just go ahead and, you know, give you information for free. So the crime writer would pretty much interview people that witness or have information and have knowledge about that particular massacre that occurred and they would take down information and then, you know, edit it and they would just get a publisher and they would incorporate it in that, um, that novel, that crime novel. It's the same thing with the Bible family, same exact thing. Because remember, it was a council of Nicaea that actually put together the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And the council of Nicaea, there wasn't any Hebrews. There wasn't Israelite that, that actually came together at the Council of Nicaea. No. You had people all over, from all over the world, actually came with their story of their era, and they pretty much, you know, came together. They took whatever they wanted, wanted from, the, you know, the other nation's story, put into this book, canonized it, and whatever information they didn't want in there, they, they discarded it. Like, you know, the Book of Enoch and the Apocrypha, Book of Jubilee, all these different books, they didn't incorporate in today's Bible, the King James Version Bible, the NIV Bible. You don't have that information there. But even the 1611, just to show you what I'm talking about, even the King James 1611, that shit has the Apocrypha in it. That's older than the so-called New King James Version. So why they don't have the Apocrypha in the Bible? Why they don't have it in the, in the, in the NIV? Because they are, they are omitting information. It's the same thing like I was telling y'all that a lot of the stories in the New Testament was plagiarized from the Old Testament. A lot of the Old Testament stories were plagiarized from another um, text. You know what I'm saying? You think they're going to give our history. Why is it, all right, why is it that when you read the Bible, the only fucking history you have is us in slavery? Have y'all ever considered this shit? The only story in the Old Testament primarily, other than the fact that how they demonize us, you know, demonize us and the most side being our God being this, this bloodthirsty entity that just want to kill, 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 kill. And we being, you know, the one who, who, who orchestra or, or carry out this, 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 this order from the most side to go kill and rape and take this one as your, you know what I'm saying? You ever notice how this shit, that's what I'm telling you, family, we have to be careful how we read these books because these books are full of witchcraft you know what i'm saying if you read even in the deuteronomy text right 
every, excuse me, everything talk about us going into slavery. Again. Like everything in the fucking Bible is about us either in slavery or killing. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's, it's almost like that's what we would do. So this is why it's easy for them, the ones that do know who we are, because they know who we are. It's easy for them to perpetrate cattle slavery, you know what I'm saying, with us. You know what I'm saying? Put us in slavery and shit and do the shit that they did to us. Because according to the Bible, we did it to other nations. You know what I'm saying? So let's say it's true, right? What they wrote in the Old Testament as us being at the execution, the one that carries out the most high laws, right? Carries out the most high commandment to go out there and kill and we could take of a you know, woman as virgins and shit, right? Let's say it's true. Now, if they're saying that, according to the Bible, that now we're under a curse, right? And we're going to go into slavery, go into a land where we knew not. So everything that was in this book, they have literally carried out. They have literally carried out because the Council of Nicaea, when we created this book, they already wrote in there, it's okay for the Israelite to be slaves. So, so, so this is why it's, it, for them, it was so easy for them to do what they do to us because what they wrote, and again, how do we know? How do we know that all the stuff that allegedly God said was going to happen? How do we know he said the shit? Who was actually there? You know, when you, like when I read the Bible sometimes, I be laughing, right? I read the Bible, and not just the Bible, but most of the Bible. I laugh a lot because I'm saying to myself, damn, who's actually there taking notes, like verbatim, like all these characters in the Bible, all these incidents, all these occurrences, who was really there like every single day, every single minute, second, you know, if the most I had a thought, they would write the shit down, like the most I said, oh, by the way, this is what I'm thinking, okay, let me write it, let me, you know, just, eh, eh, shit's kind of fucking crazy, but yeah, family, it's like, who was really there? Somebody was actually there taking notes of every occurrence that happened, every voice that utter, every fucking word that was spoken from someone. Someone was actually there to document it. Just think about the shit. You know, when you, we, people be reading the Bible and they, and they be getting into shit and, and, and this ha- and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, so who was there? So you're telling me that everything that happened, someone said, oh, by the way, let me tell you what happened last week. And someone said, okay, hold on, let me go get my pen and paper. And they wrote that shit down for a bit. So, so, much so you can have 66 books. You know what I'm saying? No, because you had stories that came from other nations, right? And if you want to call it Christ, Christianity and shit, then remember Constantine himself was a pagan. And then to keep everybody together, not fighting, it's almost like what they said Abraham did, free the slave. Abraham ain't free no fucking slave because he, 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 we, we was worrying about us or he loved us. He free to say because it, they was losing too many white people. You know, there was a civil fucking war. You had the North fighting against the South. The South was making money off of cotton. The North wasn't benefiting. If anything, the North was losing money because they had to pay for the cotton from the South. So they said, nah, we got to do away with this shit. Just do away with slavery. That way they don't benefit. They don't have one up on us. So that's all it was. And, and, and then the, the South was like, man, fuck that shit. Nah, we ain't, uh-uh, we ain't giving up our slaves. And then they went to, to win the war, right? And, and a lot of y'all don't know that, that the Democrats didn't want to give up the slave, believe it or not. The Democrats, there was more Democrats in the South than in the North. Did y'all know that? They did not want to give up the slave. It was the Republicans pr- pretty much wanted to free us, not because they cared about us, because, once again, they were losing money. They wasn't making money. They was losing money because they had to buy the cotton from the, from the South. And they went to war. And even, even Abraham Lincoln himself said, he, you know, if he could have helped and shit, he wouldn't have freed the slaves. So it wasn't even a Democrat that wanted to free. But yesterday I vote Democrat. So it's the same thing with, um, let's say, for example, I, I gave that analogy. It's the same thing with Constantine, right? Constantine didn't want the problem as a, as a, as a, as a um, you know, he was ruling at the time and he didn't want the back and forth, the fighting and shit, the bloodshed. So he said, okay, he lied and said he, you know, he had an epiphany. I think he said he saw a crow went to bed and saw a red and, and, and Jesus Christ came to him in a dream. Some shit like that. Y'all could, like, y'all could look it up. And then he came back and said, oh yes, Christianity is legit. So what he did was he said, okay, what we'll do, I'm going to allow you guys to practice. So what he did, he incorporate the pagan, paganism into Christianity. This whole um, communing shit, right? Eating of his body and drinking of his blood. That's pagan. The pagans used to do that shit. They used to drink blood. 
So incorporate this shit. So he said, okay, in remember of Jesus Christ, right? We're going to eat of his body and drink of his blood. Whether it be a symbolic shit or a literal shit, he came up with that shit. Baptism, all that shit was pagan. They, they stole that shit from the Egyptian. The Egyptian believed that when the baby was born, you had to dip it in the Nile River in order for the baby to be pure, purified, right? So that's where you get the whole christening from and baptism from. That shit was pagan, so they incorporated that shit into Christianity. So, okay, in order to be saved and shit, you have to be baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. That's why I say the Bible is not what you think it is. You can take what you can take from the shit, right? Because, again, the Bible was what I, actually the tool that I used to try to become more righteous than I was before me knowing about God or Jesus Christ. Because at the time, I thought Jesus Christ was God. But even then, I had a problem with the shit. You know what I mean? Because I, when I saw the image of so-called God, I'm like, Jesus, the son of God, I'm like, damn, he's white? What is that? Because when I saw, the first time I saw a white man in Jamaica, I thought it was a fucking alien. Because I've never seen a white person before. It looked different. He had blonde hair, he had blue eyes, and he was tall, and he looked like an alien. I thought it was an alien. I thought it was a God, really. And while people was revered, I remember when this man came in, it was an evangelist, right? He came into our community and people were just, you know, just surrounding him, like treating him like he was a fucking king. And, and I, was, I was little, I was like probably like four, four years old. And I seen this man, this thing, and I thought he was strange. I was scared of him. I thought he was a fucking alien, really. So what I'm saying is that family, like, you know, yeah, the Bible is cool. Take what you can take from it. But what I, what I have to ask y'all, why do they have so many versions of a story? Why do they have so many versions of a story? Then they have different translations of the story. You know, in the K, KJV, King James Version, it says, Slave obey your early master. If you were to go and read another, um, you know, version and shit, it tells you, serve it, obey. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. They change the word around because they don't want people to say, wait a minute, this is a slave doctrine. You know what I mean? Now they calling us serv um, what they call indentured servitude. That shit is in the Bible, indentured servitude. So, man, I don't know what to tell y'all, family. Again, I'm not saying y'all shouldn't read the Bible. I'm just telling y'all that we have been deceived, right? So, just when you read the Bible, just take what you can take from it. You know, like I said, all these stories in the Bible, who was actually there at these accounts, verbatim, writing shit down, like. One person you telling me was able to write all this shit. Well, they said, well, Moses wrote, the, you know, the the, 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 the the Torah, right? Okay, or the Tanakh. And then you have, um, you know, Paul is responsible. No, it wasn't Paul, it was the Council of Nicaea. And all, incidentally, the whole New Testament story came up from these Roman family, the Paisos family. Look them up. They wrote that shit. It's just, it's just like a fictional book. It's not, I mean, it's not even, anyway family let me get off the topic so let me close by saying let's talk about 20 um the the, the project 2025 right that agenda that they're going to roll out should trump um get the presidency um this year right 2024 if he actually get the presidency we are going to be fucked we're going to be in trouble because um the mega party is pretty much planning on re rewriting the constitution Trump, if he get into office, he will be the last president of the United States of America, the corporation. He will be the last president. After Trump, it's going to pass on to one of his sons. After his sons, it's probably going to pass on to Byron. In other words, there will never, ever, ever be another president. If Trump get into office, y'all are screwed. All you rednecks that love y'all Second Amendment rights, you know, the right to be armed, including myself. I like the Second Amendment, love the Second Amendment. I believe in the right to be armed to protect my family. All that shit's gonna go out the door. But Trump is not gonna want any resistance. See, the first year, the first year that Trump was um, president, the first four years, I should say, he didn't know much about the, pilot, pilot, the politics part of it. All he did, he went in there as a, as a, as a showman, as a so-called businessman, a failed businessman. But now he realized, okay, there's a lot of power to this shit. You know, there's a lot of things that I can use politically to gain or to do more than what I've done within the first four years. Because in the first four years, he was just being guided. He didn't understand. You know, Trump is a narcissist. He, Trump don't like to be told. But Trump have learned some shit throughout the, um, the years. What he can do to, in order to capitalize on this, um, this so-called presidency. And one of the things they have came up with is Project 2025. That's where they're literally going to rewrite the Constitution. They're going to do away with the IRS. They're going to do away with all these institutions, the FBI, all these other governments that's, you know, governing the United States of America, the corporation. 
And they're going to give all the power to Trump. If Trump decides he want to put you to death, guess what? He's going to have the power to do so. You know what I'm saying? So we, we don't realize what's, what's in for us. I'm hoping and praying that the most I do come and deliver us sooner than later because I do not want to be here on a Trump presidency. Okay? Because Trump is getting out of hand. This man is losing his fucking mind. This man is doing some shit and saying shit that I've never heard before. This man is really... He's really inspired himself to be a dictator. You know what I'm saying? And there is going to be a World War III. There is a, the World War III is definitely inevitable. They're already setting the stage, the world stage, for this war to happen. Russia, they said have ships and shit, submarine over there in Cuba, Havana, Cuba. Then you got United Snakes of America, Biden, he's sending ships on the other side of Cuba in case, you know what I'm saying? In case something pop off. I'm telling you, that shit in the Bible about Armageddon, that shit is real. A lot of this prophecy that's in this Bible, they're going to fulfill it. They're going to make this shit happen. I believe they actually put these shits in the, in the book. But one thing with these devils, these devils plan centuries in advance. Centuries in advance. They, they put, you know, they put shit in, plan, in, in planning. If, 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 they, if they don't outlive this shit, then their generation passed down to them. And, you know, that's how they do. This is how these devils have been in power for so long. These Romans and shit. These Nephilims. These fucking Nephilims. That's what, what white people are. They're descendants of Nephilims. Neanderthal Nephilims. This is why they're ruling because Lucifer, right, a.k.a. Satan, is their, is their daddy. This is why they have dominion over this world because Satan is the god of this world according to the Bible. Book of Thessalonians, I believe it is. So I want you to understand something, some family. What's coming, this 2020, 25 agenda? Man, if this shit really roll out, I think I'm moving back to Jamaica. That's one of the reasons why I'm, anyway, I'm going to not say that. I don't want to put my business out there. But yeah, I think I'll probably move right back to fucking Jamaica. Because I would not want to be in this bitch Should the uh, mega No more Republicans Even the Republican Party is fighting this shit They don't want Trump Because they know what Trump stands for They know once Trump goes back into office The Republican Party will be no more It's going to be MAGA These fascists These fucking um, cult followers They're under Trump's spell I believe Trump is a warlock I really do Witchcraft and all that shit that they say, oh, it's against the Bible. That was our ancestors' practice. They they said they demonize this shit because guess what? Not telling y'all to go do it now, but they demonize it because they know that if we was to go back to our ancestry way of practicing, you know what I'm saying, They're doing shit, we would probably be able to conquer them. Remember the Haitians, they use that shit. They use witchcraft to to, to free themselves. Did y'all know that shit? When they was fighting the French, they summoned their ancestors and these and these fucking um soldiers was running Running for their dear lives. That's how they was able to defeat and get their independence. Y'all need to do this research on that shit. The Haitians use that shit, and this is why they use. That's why they sanctioned the shit out of Haiti because they wasn't able to um to to conquer them. You know, they wasn't able to keep them in bondage and split. You know, in servitude for too long. Because the Haitians, they went, they tap into their ancestry. And this is how they was able to get their independence. Y'all need to, y'all need to do more out that research. Y'all need to look outside of the box. Cause y'all just into this fucking Bible, and that's it. You know, reading the Bible for, for fifty years. How long did it take you to, to learn God? Some of y'all Christian going to church for like all your lives and shit, and still don't know God. I mean, I, I don't know. It don't take me that long to know who God is. All I do is follow the law, sets and commandments, and die to the law. That's all I need to do. All the extra shit, I don't need it. I don't. You know, going to church every Sunday, reading the Bible. Like when you pick up the Bible every day, what like what are you gonna get from the Bible today that you didn't get yesterday? Like why do you have to read this book? You know why? Because it's a fucking gospel. The gospel, it's a spell. All this shit in the Bible. When you do something, just like when you go to church every Sunday, you actually rededicating your life back to this entity that no one ever met. Jesus said you have to give your life to him. You have to voluntarily they use the agents of the devil, which is the pastor, telling you to come to the altar. And I told y'all what an altar is. I don't know if I told y'all in the last video, but an altar is a fucking, it's like a, it's an altar. That's where you make sacrifice. Anytime you see, you hear of altar, that's where they make sacrifices to. And what these pastors are doing every Sunday, they're sacrificing souls. Y'all are selling your soul to Jesus Christ. This is what they sell you. You have to give your life to Jesus Christ as your personal savior. So you're selling your fucking soul. Y'all don't own y'all shit no more when y'all do that. It's a ritual. And then y'all seal the deal by eating up his body and drinking up his blood. Another ritual. 
y'all gonna have a lot, man. Tell you, y'all gonna have a lot to give an account for when the Most High, um, you know, crack the heavens and shit, and, and and he start to judge you. You gonna have a lot. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all think y'all worshiping. Y'all ain't worshiping the Most High. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They ain't had to do no fucking, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, communion and shit. They ain't had to be baptized in Jesus' name and all that. So you tell me, all these people before Jesus Christ, they all went to hell because they didn't. Have, they wasn't baptized. You know, they wasn't baptized in Jesus' name. Okay, some people said, well, you know, the Israelite when they when they passed through the Red Sea, they would that's a form of spiritual baptism. No, it wasn't. Because Abraham didn't go through the motherfucker. So what happened to him? Did he go to hell because he didn't eat off Jesus' body and drink of his blood? Y'all gonna have a lot to give an account for. Keep 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 reading the spell book, the Bible, right? And, 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 and use it. Cause I'm telling you. I know for a fact you can use the new the, 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 the Bible for witchcraft. I had seen it and I, I had this girl that I used to deal with and she used to fucking do witchcraft and then she'd tell the person, go read this and go read that from the Bible to make them feel like, you know, what she's doing is not evil. Yeah. Y'all gonna have a lot to give an account for believing, giving, giving the power to another. God said he's a jealous guy, right? He shares glory with no other. So why y'all sharing his glory with his so-called son? You know what I'm saying? Even if he was a son, you how is shy, you who sure? You shy. Let's say he was a son. Why are y'all giving the glory to him instead of the heavenly father? If he came to die for our sin, he did his job. His shit is over. His job is done. Then now why are we all giving all the praises to this motherfucker? All oh, praise to you, how a shot, how a shot, how a shot, how a shot, whatever the fuck they be saying. Y'all listen, man, to goofy, goofy ass people. Shalom.